Have you ever wondered how to set up your Ledger wallet or your hardware wallet with Immutable X so that you can access the Alluvium Beyond Sale, Alluvium Land, Gods Unchained, whatever it might be? Well, this is the video for you. I'm not gonna show you how to set up your Ledger wallet. If you wanna see that, leave a comment down below and I'll take care of it. Um, I'll probably get a treasure at some point too, so I'll make all the tutorials, but we're gonna just show you how you can connect your Ledger to IMX because what's interesting is you need to go through MetaMask. IMX only supports I, uh, MetaMask, GameStop, and the Magic Wallet, and Ledger needs to connect to an IMX, to a MetaMask wallet before you can connect to IMX. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Firstly, if you're using Ledger, you need Ledger Live to activate it anyways, but what's important is you go to my Ledger down the bottom here on the bottom left, and you install the Ethereum wallet, okay? It doesn't come preloaded onto your Ledger, I don't, I don't think, or at least it didn't when I bought mine but you need to install the Ethereum wallet. You can see it right here installed already, but you just click the install button, you install that and you're good to go. So once we have that installed, we go on the MetaMask wallet and you can see it right here and you click on the little thing in the top right and click connect hardware wallet. If I was on the extension, it is exactly the same. Click on the top right, your little profile icon, then hit hardware wallet, okay? So let's connect hardware wallet. Now, this next step is also really important on the ledger wallet sign in go through everything and then click on the ethereum on the ethereum app that's on the wallet okay make sure you're into that when you click on it it should say application is ready i have a nano s hopefully they'll say a similar thing just make sure you're in the application before you do this trust me i had some issues where i wasn't you click that now it will usually default to like legacy or ledger live or whatever. If you're ever having any issues or you ever have any doubts about if it's the right or the wrong wallet, well, firstly, having some Ethereum inside it does make a big difference and makes your life a lot easier. But secondly, switch it to BIP 54. You'll have far less issues. Otherwise, if you're having issues with that, maybe go to, Leg uh, to ledger live, but BIP 54 should have the correct wallets, especially if this is a seed you've taken from somewhere else. Obviously, it's not a good idea because your wallet could be compromised. You don't know. You don't want to import one of them into a ledger. But let's say you had taken it from somewhere else. BIP54 is going to work. So then you click the wallet you want to import. You hit the little unlock button. And that was literally it. Now the ledger is connected into MetaMask. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is go to the Immutable X Marketplace. Hit the little connect wallet button in the top right. I'll show you that one more time. Connect wallet right there. You can see it. <laughs> Connect wallet at the top right. And I've made this mistake. MetaMask hardware wallet, I believe does work, but you don't need to click it, okay? It, <laughs> I remember it giving me much more trouble than it was worth. You don't need to click it. So you click the little MetaMask icon. It'll bring up Immutable X, hit get started. Okay, now you just click the wallet that's relevant. I think it's my Ledger 2. <laughs> I've got a lot of different wallets, believe me. Okay. My Ledger 2 wallet, I hit next and then connect. And now you need to do this thing, get started and messages and everything to make sure that you're good to go. I did forget to mention, you have to make sure that blind signing is enabled in your Ledger wallet, okay? So when you're in the Ethereum application on the physical wallet, you click to the right and you go to settings. And then the first option will be blind signing and it will say disabled or enabled. If it says disabled, Hit both the keys at once so that it's enabled. And then hit back. I think more modern ledgers will have this thing called um, smart contract data, but I don't have that on my ledger. So make sure you enable blind signing or you will never ever be able to sign anything in, in MetaMask. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're having issues, that's probably it. So hit the little sign button. Then the message will appear. You can sign it. If you didn't do the blind signing thing, I'm pretty sure a message just doesn't appear and you just get stuck in a death loop. But basically that's it. You got to sign a transaction on the ledger and look at that, I'm connected to the IMX network. When I sign transactions on the IMX network, I just confirm on the ledger just per normal, just in case if I was using a regular ledger on its own or with MetaMask, it's all the same, okay? So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you have ledgers to protect yourselves from unwanted risk. And if you don't have a ledger yet, please, don't forget to use the link in the description down below to go and get yourself one. They're really, really helpful. They'll keep you safe. If you don't have many funds, maybe it doesn't make much sense, but who knows? Maybe you get an NFT and all of a sudden you've got 10 grand somehow, and now you definitely need a ledger, okay? So it's really, really important to get one. And if you want to learn more about setting up a ledger wallet and things like that, 
there's a video right here in the top right hand corner or for something about else about a Louvertas. Have a good day, guys.